Hello everyone and welcome to another Rummy Review. Today we are taking a look at another Beyblade Burst Bay Blade and it is Spriggan Requiem. O-Z? Is that what that says? O-Z, yeah. So, um, yeah, I haven't done a Beyblade unboxing in quite a while. It's not really an unboxing because it's, uh, well, no, it's, it's already unboxed. I did it off camera, but uh, that's besides the point. What, what does that mean? OZ. I think that's uh, O. Oh, it's just the O disc and the Zeta driver. Okay. So, quick look on the box here. We have Spriggan itself, the, a really nice shot of it there. We have the new winder and ripcord on the right there. Uh, we have the name in English and we have the name in Japanese. On the top here it says Beyblade, again in Japanese, uh, God Layer System. So, this is actually the first God system Beyblade, I guess is what you call it, from the uh, second series of Beyblade Burst. This is the first one I've ever done. So I know it's kind of odd, but uh, I haven't, I don't know, this one captured my interest. I really wanted to do this one because, um, well, it's Spriggan and Spriggan's pretty cool. Also, it is a left and right type bay, which means it spins in either direction, which is pretty cool. And I thought I was really interested. So far, the only bay that was capable of doing that was uh, Lost Longinus. It's a weird sounding name. I don't know. <laughs> Something <laughs> uh, sounds like something else, but we won't get into that because uh, this is a PG channel. Anyway, kind of. Uh, we got some stuff here on the. What is it? I don't know my left and right. On the right side of the box, we have the layer. We have the disc, the driver, and the uh, ripcord and launcher right there. Just talking about something. I'm not sure exactly because I can't read Japanese still. Also, on the back, same thing. We get into more detail about the layer the disc and the driver. Again, I cannot read any of that. Um, so this is a unique bay for a few reasons. One, it's left and right. Uh, two, it has a multi-purpose driver. So it's got, I think it's, yeah, three different tips that you can use. So that's pretty cool. Um, some stats here on the exclusive winder and launcher. Uh, and it says right there. So I believe that uh, this is one of the stronger uh, ripcord launcher systems things. Got some stuff here on the left side, so it is a balance type. Uh, I believe that means left and right. The burst system, of course, it's always the burst system. And I don't know what this is. I have not seen it before. Maybe someone can tell me in the comments if there will be any. But I believe that might say the god system, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. It's B100. It's pretty cool. Also, we got some uh, tops here. We got uh, Drain Fener. I think that's how you say it. We got the Excalibur something. Again, I'm going to start looking at more of these bays so I can actually learn what the, all their names are. Uh, but we got Spriggan Requiem. If I can say that right. Requiem for a Dream. Does anyone remember that song? Uh, we got Shu right here in his new attire from the new series. And we have the new Longinus, as, uh, which I believe is uh, Nightmare Longinus, I think. Again, I'm still learning all the new names, so I'll get to them when I get to the base. And we have uh, the new Valkyrie. I, can't, I don't know. Vic, uh, Valkyrie God, I think it was called. Um, but yeah, so again, the box and the packaging itself is pretty nice, but we've been on that too long. So why don't we just get that out of the way and get to the Beyblade itself. All right, so here we have all three parts to the Beyblade, starting with the layer. This is the Sprigum layer, obviously. So uh, what's pretty interesting about this is that it can be altered to be left or right. So if I just take the special tool that uh, comes in the ripcord, I guess, basically how that works is that you just slide it in like so, and you, uh, well, maybe I should turn around so you can kind of see if I can do that that way, but maybe I won't. And you just turn it like that, and lock it back into place, and it's in left spin, I believe that is. I didn't check, but yes. So you can alter, you know, this is how you alter the uh, left or the right uh, mechanism. Uh, so yeah. Um, also, we have the O disc right here. So there's more weight on two sides of the disc, giving it more of a balance like feature, which makes sense considering this is a balanced type Beyblade, obviously. And here we have the Zeta driver. So its first tip right here which is similar to the fusion tip. Uh, you got basically a flat surface with a little protrusion at the center there. So the whole gimmick is, is that while it's spinning in the dish, uh, as it remains center in the middle of it, it will retain a lot of its stamina. When it's knocked off balance or collided into, uh, the flatter surfaces of the tip will make contact with the stadium, allowing it to move more aggressively in the stadium. Uh, so basically how you change the tips, you just pull it up, rotate it whichever way, doesn't really matter, 
and you lock it in place. So this tip right here is similar to the Quake tip. Again, it's not slanted though, so it kind of has its own thing. But it's primarily an attack-based tip exclusively, which allows it to move aggressively in the stadium, but it also kills a lot of its stamina. Pull the tip up again, rotate it. Oh, hold on. Other way. There we go. And we have what is the ball tip, which is primarily for defense. It gives it more friction in the stadium. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so yeah, that is the Zeta driver. So how it works, I guess you, I think we all know how a burst Beyblade is assembled at this point. So we just lock it in place. I don't know why I'm having a hard time doing that right now over the camera. And boom, there we go. Beyblade is a go-go. So as you can see, there are some rubber protrusions here. So um, again, the added feature that this Beyblade has is that it can spin steel apparently by spinning it left in the dish. It will collide with a right spinning bay and steal its momentum, allowing it to go faster. So yeah, pretty interesting. The only Beyblade that actually really had the hand spinning feature at all was El Drago, or Medio El Drago, oops, from the uh, Fusion line or Metal Fight or whichever you'd like to call it. So yeah, a really cool looking Beyblade. We're gonna do a test spin and I guess maybe I'll do like a semi battle just to kind of test some of the features like the spin stealing feature, which kind of needs a new Beyblade. But before we get into that, I'm gonna get into the launcher. So this Beyblade comes with a uh, unique launcher. Not really unique, it comes with an exclusive launcher is what I meant to say. Uh, so it, it goes back to the original formula here. We have the traditional launcher and winder, which um, honestly is my favorite. I kind of prefer these launchers over the string launchers. I know the string launchers are supposed to be better, but uh, I grew up with the plastic gen, right? So it was all about this stuff back in the day. Also, it's supposedly more powerful. Yeah, if it says here on the box, if these stars are any indication. Um, this launcher is, yeah, stronger than the standard winder and ripcord and the string launcher, the new string launcher. So, uh, yeah. Finally, a normal setup here that uh, is better than the string launcher. Because for all... Oh, why is it... Okay. For all intents and purposes, I prefer this combo a lot more than the string launcher just because you get to just rip it out like that as hard as you can and you don't have to worry about uh, you know tearing the string out of the uh, out of the launcher I said that so many times it's getting kind of redundant okay so why don't we do a little test spin okay so we're gonna do a semi test battle slash spin test of Spriggan Requiem with Storm Spriggan so I did a little bit of research on Requiem Requiem and I found out that uh, it doesn't spin steel per se, it just equalizes it. So I guess what that means is instead of just taking the momentum away from another Beyblade and adding it to its own, it can, uh, what's the word, I guess just get a bit more boost off of a Beyblade. I, I'm not entirely sure what it means exactly. I just, I guess it equalizes, as it says in the name, the rotation of both Beyblades in the dish. So we're going to see just exactly how that works. So I'm going to launch uh, Requiem first just to let it burn off some energy and then I'll launch Storm Spriggan last and see if it can get a bit more momentum off of Storm Spriggan and maybe pull off a victory. So first let's do Spriggan, Spriggan Requiem. It's a mouthful. And I'm using of course it's a uh, signature launcher so bad. Just let it burn some energy. Okay. All right. Let's see what kind of results we get. Now, from what I heard too, is that Requiem takes elements from a few other Beyblades that it shows on the box here. So it's supposed to be like the perfect Beyblade in a sense. But <laughs> maybe I just need to get used to using it more. Okay, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Requiem held in a little bit longer there, so just for the all, all, all purposes, you know, this is Requiem's video, so I'll give that win to him. Um, but yeah, it looks like it kind of works. Now, it does, of course, go into right spin, but you can't really tell the difference on camera, so there's really no point in really showing off the different locations. 
Uh, but yeah, so we had Requiem in, what is this, the fusion tip? It's kind of like what Storm has already, but if we lift the tip up, we can put it in defense mode, which is the ball tip. Now, this is more of a defensive type uh, mode. Also, Requiem only went down one peg. So, I guess you can say that these Beyblades have three lives. Uh, it, it lost one, I guess. That's the easiest way to describe it. But uh, we're going to put Requiem in defense mode now. Again, he goes first. Okay. Just let him calm down a bit. Okay, it's, he's used enough energy, so let's see if this works a bit better in defense mode. This equalization mode. Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. Uh, simultaneous finish. Okay, so, all right. That's pretty interesting. So yeah, it looks like Spriggan Requiem gets a bit of an advantage, I guess. Uh, so now we'll put it in flat, whole, or not whole flat, just flat, I guess. Uh, and this time, I'm going to launch them relatively together. I mean, I can't launch you both at once, obviously, but uh, I'm going to launch them relatively close to each other, so, you know, we'll get a more accurate. Demonstration of their and if you don't want, if he doesn't fly out of the dish first and use up a lot of his juice. <laughs> okay, Requiem won that one definitely, for sure. So he does seem to have, you know, an advantage uh, if they're both launched at the same time. But yeah, no, that, so that's pretty much Spriggan Requiem. Uh, aside from that, that's all three modes we've used. So yeah, uh, I'd say that was a pretty successful test. Uh, I really do love the look of this one. This is probably my favorite looking Beyblade so far. I also noticed he, his uh, medallion in the center here is metal to add more weight. So again, that's pretty cool. And the golden axes, of course, give it that really nice regal look to it. Um, a huge improvement from uh, Storm Spriggan. I know there is a third or a second Spriggan that's, uh, I guess, in between these two. I guess is second evolution, as it were. I haven't got that yet. I just got Requiem because I thought he looked the coolest. But I will definitely get around to uh, purchasing more of these bays, the God bays, and doing a proper comparison. So, uh, what was the other one called? I forget. Legend Spriggan. I'll, I'll probably get him down the uh, down the road. And then maybe we can do a try battle between all three of them. But overall, I'd say, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool Beyblade. Um, so, if you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next Beyblade video, which should be out pretty soon. Hopefully, I'll try to get more money.